Uh, when Katie and I moved north to Bradford, we were amazed to find that out of a tiny office, this amazing ministry amongst schools and churches that's called the Zephaniah Trust existed. And we're very proud to be part of it. I like it when Zephaniah comes to visit because it's like, it's not, it's not like a normal day. They're really funny and they just like make you laugh. I just wanted to say that maybe not the last 20 years but certainly the last five years I've witnessed you guys do amazing things not just in the schools of Bradford but in Yorkshire and beyond. Of course I like it when Zephaniah visits because it helps me learn about God and Jesus. It, it's funny and serious merged into one because they make it funny. Uh, I like volunteering with Zephaniah because um, we always have a really fun time and I really like doing the drama because I don't really like the children. It's like an alarm clock. You have Mr. Chambers or whoever saying, Good morning, everybody. And then we all say, Good morning, Mr. Travis. And then he, and then he it, goes and then you go and say, Hello, everybody. And everyone goes, Hello. Especially when they come on Mondays and you're nearly like asleep when the other teachers start the assembly off and then when they just start coming in they're like hello hello I'm Julie or I'm Mr Proud <laughs> um, I used to really enjoy it when Zeph and I used to visit my primary school um, that assembly would always be the best assembly of the week So who's this John Froud? I've never heard of him. I've heard of Stuart Henderson, but John Froud. It's really exciting because every day you're just like, oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's the name? Oh, Zephaniah. Zephaniah makes it like interesting. And Dolly. And Dolly. Yeah, Dolly. Is that a word? <laughs> yeah, Dolly is a oh, word. Okay, so <laughs> it makes it jolly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm majestic. <laughs> Through assemblies, the Bible Times exhibitions, fast forward and rewind programs, the Zephaniah Trust brings to life the Christian faith for thousands of children and adults all over Bradford. If I had to describe any of the times that John and Julie came to our school, I'd probably remember the first time because we didn't really think much of it at first when we were going into the hall and then it just hit and it was really good and everyone couldn't wait until the next time we saw them because we, we do an activity and then we, we just think we're doing it for fun but really it's it's something to do with god so it's helping us um, believe in god the signs are lots of fun well they like tell stories and sing really fun songs that we all enjoy zephaniah assemblies um were always really um, interactive, so got everyone involved. But well, I was quite young when um, they first came in, and John scared me a bit. <laughs> well, he has got quite a large beard. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes John and Julie make fun of each other, so it gets really mm. funny. Yeah. And, and they're, they're not related. related. When, when they do a story, it leads <laughs> to one of Jesus' stories. So it's... <laughs> Zephaniah assemblies help me to think more about God. We always have fun, like we have we tell they tell funny stories and then they link it up to a Bible story. I'll have a story from their lives and then a story from Jesus's. So it's like all oh, linked to together disciples. really nice, yeah, all of his disciples. You don't just sit there praying but you say praise and songs and I just find it amazing that every single story just gets something part um so it links to something part of the lives. They're really funny. It's fun but you're also learning about God. If you ha if you feel having quite a low day and you come in and then we listen to some of the songs it makes you realise that God is watching over you. Wonderful people like yourself who inspire the next generation to 
love and spread the word of God and maybe if we had you guys 40, 60, 80 years ago, the world would be a better place today. They tell you stories about Jesus and what he did in his life and how it could guide our ways. Um, well, it makes us feel closer to God. Because sometimes the way that people describe God, it doesn't really seem very inviting. It doesn't seem as though he's wanting you to have fun. But then when the Zephaniah Trust come in, you can really tell that side of it. By the way, that's not me, that's Mr. Round. What's so great about John's songs is that whenever I go into a school and I take an assembly, I find that John's songs are being played and the children join in immediately. I think it's because they're so memorable. I've forgotten all, all the John Proud songs. Don't you know? Haven't you heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's gonna be my rock. Gonna build a strong foundation. My rock. Gonna build a lighthouse to the nation. Be my rock. Go tell it on the mountain. Something only you can do. Be my rock. I need you. Is he in the Bible? Is he dead? Is he really old? I love Jewish stories. She has a way of engaging with you, of drawing you in and presenting you with a new way of looking at the world. And suddenly you find yourself seeing the world quite differently through her eyes and through God's eyes. Dee told us this story. I really like that moment where, um, um, where Julie's niece is staying over at her house. Auntie Julie! Julie's um, dad, he got up, had a cup of tea. He was in the car, had a cup of tea. Got to work, had a cup of tea. Uh, Auntie Julie! Had his lunch, had a, good, had a cup of tea, finished his lunch, had a, had a cup of tea. Um, yeah, the David Tennant one, that yeah. was really funny. Because, like, she, um, she was saying, I'm really tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see everything. I'm Got in the car, had a cup of tea, went home, had a cup of tea. Um, Go in the house, had a cup of tea. And then when she got really bored, she went and hid. And then when when it went looking for her, you could see see two little feet behind the toilet rolls, and then there yeah, she was with the funny and I was like, like that. Had tea, had a cup of tea. <laughs> mashed potato on the table. Mashed, mashed potato, potato on the TV. Mashed potato on the walls <laughs> and on the dog. And went, went to bed and had a cup of tea. <laughs> Auntie Julie. Yes. I can't go to sleep yet. Why? Be, be, because I need a wee. If you want to sum up uh, Zephaniah, then the word I would use is extraordinary. Mobile. Exquisite. Hope. Long haired. Alarming. Enjoyable. Like an alarm clock. Fascinating. Bearded. Majestic. <laughs> Very rude to each other. Funny. Walks in the footsteps of Christ. Badass. <laughs> Really, really fun. Incomparable. <laughs> Exciting. Relaxed. Zephanatic. Awesome.
a very happy 20th birthday, Zephaniah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Zephaniah, from sunny Queensland. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to ya! Happy birthday to ya! doing that amazing work and I love you, I miss you, mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm thinking of now. I can't really see them.